Hi ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to teach you how to set a ground. Setting a ground is simply putting a light value shading on the background of a paper before you start your drawing. The supplies are listed here on the screen. Get everything that you need and then here we go. First, you're going to take your graphite and you're going to prep it by rubbing it off on the side of one of your scrap pieces of manila paper so that it's smooth. That way when you actually apply the graphite directly onto the paper, you don't get weird, heavy streaks or lines. You want to keep three or four sheets of paper underneath your final paper when you're prepping it also, just so that there's a soft background to kind of cushion it and it's not directly on your desk. Then you see I have the piece of paper horizontal. That's the direction I'm going to be drawing my final in. And when I shade, I also applied the graphite in a really light layer horizontally. Then you take whatever kind of tool or material that you have, meaning you can use a blending tool, a makeup pad, a Kleenex, or a dry piece of paper towel, and then you're gonna smooth back and forth or in a circular motion, the graphite that you just put onto your paper. It should be a light, number one white gray. Sometimes I'll use more than one material in order to smooth it out. If you're not sure how this is gonna work, there is scrap paper in the construction paper box that you could test it out on. No matter what, please put your name and code on the back so somebody else does not claim your piece of paper. A second option if you don't have graphite is to hold a pencil in the sketching hold and then to apply pencil horizontally over the whole paper. Please make sure your lines are going back and forth in a straight horizontal fashion. If it curves, it's just going to make the background graphite look a little bit odd. If you feel that your first layer is too light, you could always apply a second layer. Then again, with either paper towel, blending tool, cotton pad, Kleenex, you're going to rub back and forth horizontally to set the ground or set that gray in the background in place so your paper is not completely white. Once you get to the next video and you start shading on your final, you'll see the purpose also for setting a ground. Now you'll see that there's times when I'll go back over it in a blending tool. However, I've found that lots of students feel like the blending tool is a little bit too streaky, so please use light pressure when you're doing this work. By the way, everything that's being shown on the video is in double speed right now, so it's a little bit faster than I would normally do this. A third option is to take a cotton pad or cotton ball and to rub it into the graphite that was left on the paper that you used to prep your graphite stick and you can apply it in a circular motion to add another layer of graphite onto your background to set a ground. No matter what you choose to do, please put your name and code on your paper. And here are my two examples of papers that I have set a ground on. Good luck.